Hey, how's it going guys? Saad here and in this tutorial, I'm gonna talking about the on drop, on drag over, on drag start and on drag events uh, which are of course, uh, you know, HTML event and you can use through by mouse and uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use how we're gonna use in real life. So first, what we need to do is uh, we do not need this type of bodies or something just remove here up to here and paste it a bunch of things like what I'm did is uh, it will have two boxes and it, it we can drag from here to here and and it gonna say at the state of the drag movement that is that dragging a not so in that way we can use this so for that to happen we need those properties which are talked about on drop on drag over on drag start and on drag so first we need to do is implement the uh, first row so uh, I will uh, and I created three uh, four, uh, you know, uh, uh, what we call functions. One is drag start. We will set the drag ID and text. Uh, one is dragging, which is uh, of course saying that is that dragging or not. Allow drop. What it does is is that gonna dra drop to there or not? That means we if you want to drag here, that's why. And the drop that when we drop it it gonna change the position so for that to happen we need first uh, on drop uh, yeah here on the first the class is drop target so we gonna start with on drop so and we will pass the drop uh, what we call uh, drop call the drop function and pass as a parameter the event uh, our event is this so yeah then the next is on drag over and inside that we're gonna put allow drop function and you know just pass the event then we use the drag start on drag start so here it is I don't know where it come from like I was checking back then uh, I think there is where it's come I'm, I'm giving to spaces so you can see the differences so in the p tag which is the paragraph here you know drag me so we can yeah, we will make this a draggable by using the draggable um, the pro attribute so draggable and make this true and now if we check that inside there we can uh, see that we can drag now now next thing we need to implement is on drag start which is of course here and now on drag uh, another uh, another what we call event drag event uh, for clarification so it will be drop so when it drop it gonna call the event so event now next thing is we gonna uh, pass in the drag class which is this one and uh, we're gonna pass those so drop target and yeah we I use CSS properties to make those so drop target on drop on drop where I'm gonna pass the uh, uh, drop and inside that event so event like if you have any problems just comment me out I will help you be sure to check out and help you and on drag over 
allow drop and it will be an event after that what I'm gonna do is just leave it there I think it work because uh, for to on in contrast what I did is I make this a drago property and now we we can drag to this and for that we have events and to look like that we are dragging the ways so when I do here it's working and the the current state which is saying what I'm doing so here it's the current state drag to here drag to here and we can do here so this is the way it works so isn't that cool right so hope you guys understand see you guys in the next tutorial